The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. Spawned from a family of WWE Hall of Famers, she is the self-proclaimed boat best of all time. Utilizing her style honed inside the dungeon and always maintaining supreme focus inside the ring. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. Pure evil on the face of the Eradicator. You can call it evil, but it's also effective, competing on an even higher level since joining the Judgment Day. I hate to say it, Corey, but you're right. Absolute dominance from Rhea Ripley as of late. Call her the Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. No! And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia. She is the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. This right here is a championship that gained a lot of prestige in short order, guys. Yeah, I mean, once a time, but covered by the champ. Throws up the shoulder. Trying to make short order of things there. Ripley's attack. I have to think that Rhea Ripley's signature brutality is going to play a major role in deciding this match. Oh, I agree. If Rhea can fully unleash her most sadistic instincts in the ring, she'll be very tough to beat. She needs to let herself go wild and be absolutely as savage as possible. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Barely into a flapjack. Impressive. 
Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Oh, there it is, the abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra torque. Ooh, she's fighting desperately. Hip tosses her way out of the hole. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Oh. oh, timely counter by Natalia. Off to the top rope now. She's got her where she wants her. From the top. Good lord. Taking flight. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Shaken. Suicide dive to the outside. Roll does it better. Two. Oh. Boom. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well being. Oh, impressive counter. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Getting back into the ring. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Natalia knows exactly what she's doing, and it is not good for her opponent. Downright savage club right there. A bad place to be for the challenger. And as this fight goes on, Rhea's reaching new levels of brutality. Five. She'll take things into the ring. All right. <laughs> Set up for the side Russian leg sweep. Here's the pin tunnel on the line. display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Better pay for her mistake. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Will with the rip tie. Another one bites the dust to the chair. Rhea Ripley defends the title. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. When you earn a win like that, you've got to feel pretty good about yourself. We are looking at the textbook definition of a winner right now, and you can bet she is about to let everyone in the locker room know just that.